morning. Good morning. <coughs> um, I'd, um, did this go to a council? Sorry, no, it's come just straight to council. It's come straight to council. <coughs> so um, this is uh, yeah. Um, I, I, yeah. I, I mean, I've obviously I've had a discussion with some of the councillors. Um, they're not as excited by the English descriptor as um, I am. Uh, so, uh, but certainly um, the gift of the name. So, I'd really like to deal with that as a, as as an item first, sure. um, and then if we're able to deal with the descriptor, then so be it. But if we not, it's not as urgent as the as the gift. Right. Would okay. That be right. Thank you. So, would you like me to outline what yes. is in the report around the, the, the gift of the Māori name? Yeah. In, okay, sure. Thank you. So, really we've got the, we've got that in the, uh, probably the, the key points are in the context uh, and background section. Um, so, as the Mayor has um, said, uh, Matapaupuri and Ngāi uh, have gifted a Māori name, um, Tūranga, uh, for the library and uh, in terms of the cultural narrative, so they have been working with us to develop a cultural narrative for the building. And um, when it comes to the name, um, as you can see, it's in um, 5.3, uh, that reflects the relationship with Fitirea, the traditional name um, for the Cathedral Square. So it's very much firmly rooting that um, name in the place itself. Uh, and in the oral tradition, as you can see there, Fitirea was the name of Paikia's house, Paikia being the ancestor who travelled here on the back of, of a whale, and Turanga was where Paikia's house, the location for Paikia's house. So, um, as I say, it fits in with that whole cultural narrative and is very um, firmly placing uh, our new facility in the heart of Cathedral Square, which of course is where it is. So, um, that's probably the, the, the key element. Um, in, in, in the work that we did, um, the research that we did in looking at a name and a naming convention, uh, the, this approach of, of um, using the name, uh, the Māori name as the, as the predominant name for the, for the facility uh, was very much supported by the research that was undertaken, which involved looking at um, best practice and examples here and overseas, and also actually talking to, um, talking to people in the community. Key, key segments of the community uh, around their ideas and associations, not about Turanga per se, but what do libraries mean to them and where are libraries heading and, and how, can, how can we uh, firmly position uh, this wonderful new facility within, within Christchurch. Okay, what so... What the main um, points, I think? Yeah, uh, Sarah, who is it over there? Yanni, uh, Andrew, Bill, everyone. <laughs> Um, thank you. I mean, I, I really like um, Turanga, and I can see from, from the report that with um, the, the descriptor of place of discovery, the intention is that over time actually the building will just be called Turanga, yes. and while there is a tagline for now, actually it's a, it's a case of just getting people used to using the Māori name. Yes. Um, rather than calling it Central Library or something like that. Yes, yes, and very good point that I didn't cover that. So the intention would be that in terms of what is permanently on the building, uh, it would it would just be Turanga on the building. So yes, that that is the name, and then using taglines and other other descriptors is what will help people to identify and connect that this is um, this is our new Central Library, uh, that it is um, you know a, a new proposition for for libraries and and to help with that. just the whole promotion wayfinding easy and quick recognition uh, that this is a place um, you know, yep. to draw people That's in. That's great, thanks. Uh, Yanni, <coughs> sorry, I lost track, I should have... Uh, I was just trying to understand what Tūranga means. What's the definition of it? As it's I the think name it's of the place where the house was, where Fitarea was. Ye yes, that's right. So it's the it's my understanding is that Fumensis. it is the location of where Paikia, Paikia being the ancestor who came on the back of the whale, it's where the house was located uh, in Fitirea, which is the traditional Māori name for Cathedral Square. So it's very much around identifying it as as being that in the play in that in that location. So I'm just trying to understand how that relates to the the library and what a library does. 
uh, yes, and I think that's where uh, including um, an English descriptor and including uh, tagline, a tagline uh, will and and whatever we put together in terms of the information around this to inform and, and promote it, uh, we need to weave the the function of the um, of the building into that. But given that it, you know, like if it, if you were looking for a literal English translation. Um, you, you just go onto a mm. translation website, yes. and um, the fact that it means foundation, you know, that's yes. one of its actual meanings, yes. is yeah. ideal for describing what a library does. Yes. It provides a foundation for anything. And, foundation and for the future, foundation yes. for who we are now. I yes. mean, this is going to be, you know, each floor has got a different meaning, hasn't it? Do you want to run through those Sorry. four floors? Yes, and, and if I can just say, because I think that's a really good point too, it's, it's, um, we have got the cultural narrative in the building, so we've got so many opportunities to actually expand on that foundation and location, uh, and taking, um, um, referring back to essentially to sort of the, the Naitahu myth and legend, taking that forward, some of the cultural narrative is really about, as a, as a myth around knowledge acquisition, and mm. so that's actually going to be incorporated into the integrated art, some of the design features in the building, and we've got a wonderful, and we will absolutely be building on that to tell the story. Uh, and that's part of our partnership, um, to, um, particularly with Naitua Hariri, both in terms of art, design, and that kind of how that, that story is curated in the building. So I just like I understand that, and that you know that awesome. that's fine. But there's, I, I just would like something yeah. that actually um, describes the services and the offering in in the building. And so, um, and we, I think we talked about it this morning, like. You've got a place of discovery, but is there any reason why we couldn't just have like two ranga and then library underneath or or next to it? I mean, we don't have any options in the report, so it's kind of hard to to, to kind of ask all these questions now and try and find a resolution. But it, to me, it, it, it it's really important to actually call it somewhere a library so that people know what what it does. Um, and I don't get that from the name that's been proposed. Um, which is not a the, criticism of the cultural no. narrative because I support that. Sure. But I want somehow to incorporate library into the the name. Well, I mean, if we're going to have that debate it. today, then then we will. So, um, I mean, there will be some that agree with you, and there will be others mm. like myself who strongly disagree. So, um, yeah. Sorry, Tim, Phil, and Andrew. So, so. I really like the, the Turang, I, I really do. So that, that's not the problem for me. The, the, the issue is really what Yanni's mentioned. But this is going out for consultation, is that right? So this is going to go out to the public, or has this been decided? No. So we're deciding now that it's yes. going to be Turang, a place of discovery. Yes. Or right. we can just deal with Turanga today, which is what I said at the beginning. Well, I would prefer just to deal with that and, and, and get that approved, because I think there are going to be some issues with the rest of it. Mm -hmm. I, and I think that we really need some really good value discussion on that, the rest of it. But I don't want to get, like yourself, I don't want to get the two mixed up, because they're two, I see them as totally separate. So. Yep. Um, I've got Phil, Andrew, then Sarah again. Look, thank you, Carolyn, and all the, all the um, work that's gone into this. And I love the name Tiranga. Um, I guess my question, and, and I, I think that's what we should settle on today, but the, my question really is in relation to what might be the strap line, but it, it, it's do we know the number of people who come into the library, current, say currently, who might be from outside Christchurch and not know what it is or even f knowing where it is for a start, but it's, the question is really the number of people outside Christchurch who would go to the library as a percentage. I don't know if we can give a number per se. What we do know, this is an anecdotally, we, we know, and from surveys that we did when we were in the old library in Gloucester Street, is that we do have a large number of visitors to the city, um, whether they're from overseas or elsewhere. Um, that, 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 that visitors from elsewhere is part of a, you know, it, it is a tourist destination and a visitor destination as well as being for local residents. Thanks, Karen. I'd only like to cite on that later today. Yeah. Um, um, a couple of the questions I had have already been asked, which has been um, helpful, um, asked and answered. Um, so just in terms of if we were to split the two issues, so the, 
the naming of the library Turanga, which I agree with. I think that's great, and I think it, um, it denotes that sense of place. It recognises the cultural history and the cultural history of, of that part of the central city, um, links um, past and future in a, in a very good way. Mm -hmm. If we were to approve that today, does that then still give us the opportunity by way of a further decision mm. to, because I noticed that that's the naming, so we would name the building Turanga, but then the way that name is used, any strap line, any brand positioning, that sort of thing, if there was a desire for some English wording other than or additional to, a place of discovery that could be added by way of a further decision we wouldn't take the view that we'd named the building and that was the end of the naming conversation I, I, I think that would be absolutely fine if council wished to, to, to take that approach yeah and in that case I'm happy with the approach um, proposed um, Sarah and then Jimmy actually I was just going to indicate that I'm actually happy to move both one and two today and um, that may not be a goer, but I'm actually comfortable with both. Yeah, no, I'm comfortable with both too, but it may not pass. <laughs> like, I've, I've got some reasons, but the reasons would come out in debate rather than at question time. I, you know, I've, I've got reasons too, but we yeah. haven't discussed them. And we I, haven't, just, we I haven't actually wonder a discussion. whether it's better to take it offline rather than yeah. have, um, <coughs> you know, a discussion, which is the, the real issue here is, is the gifting of the name Tūranga. And I'm getting the sense, you know, like Te Papa, we don't say National Museum of New Zealand um, every time no, we, we describe Te Papa. Te Papa. So to gift, to accept the gift of the name, I think, is something that we can decide ourselves. And then any descriptors that are that are developed, we can actually put that off to another yeah. day. What I wouldn't like to see is that we um, accept a gifted name and then add something like Central Library to it, because we, we've got Te Honanga, the building that we're in currently, yeah. but we currently call it Civic because we haven't started out the life of the building. I say Te Honanga. Yeah. Yeah. But, <laughs> but I try to. But, um, but, but we're so used to we, calling yeah. it. And if we, if we put the tagline Central Library or something on, then we, uh, by default, we would go to Central Library. Yeah, but it doesn't, it's not it doesn't it's matter, matter yeah. because whatever descriptor is agreed, yeah. it will not appear on the front of the building. No, which is good. The one word to, is yeah, Turanga, Turanga, if we agree to that today. Yeah. So it doesn't, there's no other descriptor. You, we don't, it's just the one word. Is that what word you said? The word is the name. That is the name. Yeah. That's it. Well, hang on, I've, I've got people speaking. Um, Jimmy, okay, thank you. Thank question. You, yeah. One question. Okay, the, the, if we review the uh, 2.1.2, Regarding to the scope and the process of the community engagement and consultation, because in here you particularly mention only public uh, engage and consultation is Naitahu and the Plato Creative. But I remember the uh, Tehonga, the, uh, the Hostware Center, in that time we have uh, probably three or four different names put on the community and the public. Then we will feedback the the Tehonga is most welcome by the public because public and, and also citizens they are also get involved in it. They thought that this our kind of library, you know, or our kind of the knowledge center, etc. But this time, I know per perhaps that the Tuanga is only the Maori gift by the these two kind of uh, mata mata and then uh, Tahatu Lili. You know. Whether the public, you know, or community have, involved, have import, yes. short of this, the, this the kind of... Yeah. So the approach that we took there was working with um, Plato Creative to actually do some research and go out and talk with the community, not a naming competition, yeah. but to talk and gather a lot of ideas from the community, and from that they came back, so they collated all that and came back with recommendations. I'd be very happy to, um, to share that with council, you might find that I've got a, a, a summary uh, of their um, their results and their analysis of that, and also their recommendations of for the naming convention, including the use of Turanga and a um, and a descriptor and strap lines. So it's it's a kind of a package, and that that might be. I've only just received that yesterday, but I'm very happy to share that uh, if that would be helpful. So really, that was how the community were engaged. <coughs> Thank you. 
We just heard that there's a report that's just been given to staff yesterday. Some of us who are struggling with this might actually appreciate the opportunity to actually be able to understand a bit more about it before being. <coughs> I'm happy to receive the gift of one in. descriptor, the English descriptor could change over time mm -hmm. as it captures different groups and different people coming through. But the idea is the name of this building and this place is Turanga and that lives forever with the building. And so while libraries and places evolve and there's different uses and different services, the descriptor will change to reflect that. But the place and the building will always be Turanga and it will be symbolic because it means the place and it means a stance and an attitude. And it's, I think I personally think it's incredibly symbolic and very important to Christchurch in our relationship with Mana Whenua. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> hmm. yeah, but you you wouldn't you wouldn't have number two, whatever it is, on the face of the building. The building's one name. No, it's Mm. We haven't even had that discussion. The examples. The so example. Why are we saying this now? So it's one A, as I can see, as, as, as it should be the, the, the one put up. But do them both. Can I suggest that we do the first one? Yeah. Where there will be general event and just hold the second one up for a week. For that? That too. Oh, mm. yeah. well, the, once we do the permanent name, that's what appears on the outside of the building. Yeah. 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 That's, that's yeah. The so yeah. I don't. I don't. Yeah, yeah full shadow emotion. Okay, well it's hard because we don't have options in the report. Like normally we'd have options. So I'm happy to move that we call it the Christchurch Library, Public Library, dash two runner, if that's what you guys want. But I can't, I can't accept that when we're going to have a public library built in the city that doesn't have library on the, on the outside of it. But if we could make that the part of the secondary discussion, then I, mean, I would be happy to agree with one as long as we can have the discussion about what else may appear alongside as part of option two, it's the idea that by approving one, we're also saying that name appears on its own every time it's used, or with a descriptor, which is used for communications and marketing purposes. What, what goes on the outside of the building okay, may be encompassed in communications and marketing purposes, but it may not. And I'm certainly comfortable with adopting the, the name and receiving the gift, but it's the way that that's used that we need to have a discussion about. I would just leave this on the table and have a discussion on the line. I don't think anyone's got a concern. So why don't we put the motion and see? Building just has the one name. Yeah. It is the building's name, and over time. Yeah. 
And surely too is more of just a marketing thing. It's a bit nebulous really. The real issue is do we accept the gift or do we not? And Absolutely. then we've got a wee marketing byline there, which I'm every now and again I think that we have a tendency to sometimes overcomplicate simple things and this is a good example of it because I, I think it all looks pretty good. And some people call it the library, some people will call it um, Turanga and that's great. No one's going to be wandering around backwards around the square because they don't know where to go or where the library is. <laughs> so. Right. I just think we get on with it. There's more important things on the agenda. I'd like it to be received by uh, Rangatira, so no offence to you two, but in the name of the Mayor, actually, I think that'd be great. Okay, let's That's do fine. that. Absolutely. see what damage a week is going to do. We've just heard that the staff have got a really good report into how these things have been arrived at, which I personally would would welcome. Um, so lying it on the table for a week where we can get that report and have a greater understanding around how this has been arrived at and coming up with a, a, no, a no, consensus no. around what we can exactly. do going forward. Look, makes yeah, the greatest respect would delay Christmas if you could. I just think we just do this. Just two runga, let's do it. And if we want to have a conversation well, around it, that's fine. But a vocal minority it. can't hold up progress consistently. So we're, we're just going to um, vote on the um, that we um, accept. So I'm, I, I'm going to move that we accept with gratitude the gift of the name Tūranga uh, from Mata Popere and Naitu Huriri. Yep, sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm accepting the, the point that was made. Yeah, and I'm going to um, uh, defer uh, further discussion on on an English descriptor. And in order to address the other issues, note that um, further discussion on an English descriptor and how that will be used will be had. for the new central library. Does that, does that resolution actually prevent us from considering a further descriptor on the, on the building or not? No, it, it actually allows for a further discussion to be had. Note that... Um, Further discussion on an English descriptor and how that will be used will be had. Okay, I'll have you with that. When I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that's been um, moved and seconded. Um, I'll put that motion. All those in favour say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. That's carried. Thank you.